Okay, so I'm going to show you the shortcut for screenshot and partial screenshot. Um, you'll need this um, later this week when we do several different assignments. You'll need to show me a screenshot or a partial screenshot of your screen. Typically, you could do this with a snipping tool extension, but the school district won't let you download those extensions, so here we go. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is the full screenshot. You are going to hit on your keyboard, control and the key above your six. That will take a screenshot, lets you know down here. You can do two things with it. It shows you a preview of it. You can show it in the folder where it's being saved in your Google Drive, or you can copy it to your clipboard, which I'm going to do right now. This would be if Ms. Watts wants to paste it into like a Google Doc. So you can go ahead and control V it into the Google Doc if you were submitting it that way. And there it's coming. Um, so if you needed to put it into a document or a slides, there would be your whole screenshot there. If you only need part of your screen, like let's say for one of the assignments, I'm gonna have you take a screenshot partially of your bookmarks bar and what you've added to it uh, for a lesson. So you're gonna hit shift control and that key above your six. It brings up the little target symbol bullseye. You're going to draw what you want a screenshot of. So I'm gonna do just my bookmarks bar. And I'm going to now show it in my folder as the other option. It's going to save in your drive. They all save as screenshot, the date, and the time. So we don't want them all to be kind of named the same thing. You wanna name it something that you can tell. So I'm gonna call it bookmark part. Oh, I have to delete all that, sorry. I'll call it bookmark and I'll put my name so Ms. Watts knows who it is, Watts. Okay, it's now saved as that. Um, and now I can use it either by copying it and inserting it into a document or I can print it, I can draw on it if I need to mark it up. I can share it with Ms. Watts if that's what she needs me to do. Um, so I can do all different kinds of things to it and it's now saved as bookmark Watts in my drive. Okay, so that's how you do screenshots.